Hi, and welcome to today's virtual Carolina Carb Counters cooking demonstration. My name is Madison, and I'm a diabetes care and education specialist at MGC Diabetes Education. Today, we are going to make an Instant Pot cauliflower Thai curry. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can use the same recipe as is as a stovetop meal. Just simmer and cook for 30 minutes. The only prep we'll need to do before using our Instant Pot is peeling and chopping the butternut squash and chopping the cauliflower head. You can always buy these pre-chopped in the grocery store. First, we're gonna chop and peel our butternut squash. Pinch the tip of the blade and cut off the top and the bottom. Now we're gonna peel the butternut squash. Turn it up and then kind of chop it in half. We're gonna scoop out the seeds. Let's flip the butternut squash over and just chop like this. Now let's chop the cauliflower. First, we're gonna chop off the end. Get off that greenery. And then I just kind of shave off the florets. I'm chopping the larger florets into bite-sized florets. Let's put all of our ingredients into the Instant Pot. First, we're gonna start with a half tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil to cover the bottom. Next, we're gonna put in one 14 ounce can of light coconut milk, one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes with juices, two cups of peeled and cubed butternut squash, two cups of chopped cauliflower florets, two tablespoons of green curry paste, one teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, three fourths a teaspoon of fine sea salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, freshly ground black pepper to taste, half a cup of uncooked lentils. Remember that we're gonna add the kale after the cooking process has completed. Let's stir these ingredients. Secure the lid in a lock position and check that the steam release handle is pointing to the ceiling position. Press the manual button and set the cook time for five minutes on high pressure. Let's de-stem and chop the kale. To de-stem, take it by the end and pull. Once the timer goes off, do a quick pressure release so use a wooden spoon to move the knob from sealing to venting to let out the steam. Once all the pressure is released, we can take off the lid and put in our kale. And we'll put the lid back on and put it on warm for about five minutes. Once you cook the kale for five minutes, you can take off the lid, stir, and serve. Thank you so much for joining us for today's Carolina Carb Counters cooking demonstration. Be on the lookout for an email for the next one. Thank you.